The secret to a dream home is closer than you think and I am here to hand you the key but only if you're ready to unlock your full potential because I am going to reveal to you some insider strategies that you don't want to miss. Remember, success demands preparation. So are you prepared to take your life to the next level because the clock is ticking, opportunity awaits. So come on and join me on this journey. I am Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins team. And welcome to my incredible real estate channel. I want you to get ready to soak up some Seriously, amazing insights, strategies, and information that will totally transform your home buying, your home selling game. But before I proceed, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to support this channel because it's how I can share this information with other people. Now, are you ready to elevate your real estate game? You know, moving up is not just physical. It's also mental and preparing yourself mentally for this big step, it reduces the stress and ensures for a smoother transition. So if you're moving from a property that you're probably renting or a property that you need to sell, take the time to mentally grieve your old home and then embrace the exciting new chapter that lies ahead. So now let's dive into these game changing tips and we're gonna start with tip number one. Timing is everything. The real estate market can fluctuate up and down throughout the year. Selling during the right season can also mean a quicker home sale and potentially a higher sale price. So keep an eye on the local market trends and notice the sales activities. And also, please, please consult with the real estate agent who knows the area well. Tip number two, price it right. Pricing the home competitively based on comparable sales and the current market is key. Like I said, key, right? So overpricing will limit interest and scare buyers away. Underpricing leaves money on the table. Again, work with a real estate professional, someone who can help you determine the optimal price for your home. Tip number three, market aggressively. You know, showcase your home online because in today's digital age, having high quality photos, even a virtual tour can make your listing stand out. Use professional photography to highlight your home's best features. Also, holding an open house and connecting with buyers and agents can also maximize exposure and maximizing exposure is key. This is why I have this key to remind me. So tip number four, curb appeal matters. Curb appeal matters more than you might think. The first impression your home makes is crucial. So you wanna invest in some landscape, touch up the exterior paint, and make sure your front entrance looks inviting. It can set the tone for the entire viewing because when people ride that, walk down the street or ride down the street and they see your house, if there's a debris on the ground, chip paint on the door, the grass is not cut, and other things, the first thing they're gonna think is, wow, this house is not being maintained, then maybe the inside isn't either. Tip number five, prepare your home for the sale because buyers, they wanna visualize themselves living in your home. They don't wanna see your stuff, so you wanna remove any clutter, remove any personal photos, and keep the decor neutral. So this helps potential buyers envision their own life there. So make any necessary repairs and improvements to get the house in prime selling condition. And tip number six, be prepared for offers. In a hot seller's market, we oftentimes see multiple offers. It can be confusing to know which offer is the highest and best offer. So work with your agent to develop a strategy for reviewing all the offers and negotiating the offers to get the best deal. Just remember that if your house is listed for 500,000 and you get an offer for 550, that might be the highest offer, but is it the best offer? That's what you want. Why you want to have a real estate agent to go over those things with you. This is a side note. If you have a house to sell and you need to sell it in order to buy another house, you might be wondering, how am I going to sell my current small house and purchase another home without having two mortgages? Well, there are several options and you can find that information out in my seller's guide and the link to that is in the description below. So go ahead, grab yourself a copy. And now that you're on with these valuable tips, it's time to take action. Remember, Selling and moving up in the real estate market doesn't have to be a mystery. So by following these successful tips, and they are successful, you'll be well on your way to achieving the best value for your current home. And if you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more real estate insight, and don't forget to hit the subscribe notification bell 
so that you don't miss an update. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.